What's going on, y'all? This is Austin, your metabolism mentor. And on today's edition of Versus, it's my metabolism versus Casa Amigos. Let's tap in. I hate drinking. I hate drinking. In this installment of Versus, we're gonna dive into the effects of alcohol on my metabolism. For this experiment, we're gonna be using the Levels CGM, which is a small sensor that I stick on the back of my arm that measures in real time my blood glucose response to anything that I'm eating or drinking. If you know absolutely nothing about blood glucose, I suggest you tap into this video right here because it's gonna tell you everything you need to know about it. You can do that after you get done watching this experiment though. So, like I said, this is an experiment. So that means that we have to track and measure what we're doing. Casamigos, we're gonna be drinking about 40 milliliters of Casamigos, which is equivalent to about three to four shots, okay? I got the Casamigos right here. So just for good measure, I'm gonna take one more shot before the end of the night. So this is a better representation of what this experiment will look like with your body, okay? Small shot to good metabolic health. We're gonna mix it with the body armor. I'm choosing body armor because I don't typically have a blood glucose response from drinking this. It also has electrolytes that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need in the morning when it's time to wake up my kids for school. So without further ado, we're gonna break open this bottle of Casamigos, dump it in some body armor, I'm gonna drink it up, and we're gonna track our progress throughout the entire thing. Let's get it. All right, you guys, so I had this much Casamigos and the results were pretty interesting. But before I jump into my results, let me share a few things with you, all right? So first of all, you should know that while some alcohol is metabolized in your stomach, the vast majority of it is metabolized in your liver. Why is that important to know? Because your liver, in conjunction with a few other organs, plays a very big part in maintaining stable blood sugar. And of course your blood sugar is primarily your main source of energy. Overconsumption of alcohol can lead to dangerously low blood sugar. Have you ever blacked out or passed out after drinking too much? <laughs> yeah. You see, when alcohol is present in the body, your liver is basically like, hold up, is that alcohol? Let me cut everything I'm doing right now so I can get this up out of here. At this point, your liver goes on red alert and it prioritizes metabolizing all the liquor over anything else that you're putting in your body. The more you drink, the longer it takes your liver to metabolize the alcohol. And while that's happening, your liver is basically paralyzed from assisting your body in regulating your blood glucose. This right here is what a normal night of blood sugar looks like for me. And this was the night after I finished drinking. It's pretty all over the place, huh? Exactly. Not only was my blood sugar all over the place, but my sleep was choppier than the streets in downtown Atlanta. If you live in Atlanta, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. What's even more interesting to me was seeing how the effects of the Casamigos extended beyond just the night that I drank. Turns out that my blood sugar was not just elevated that night, but it was all over the place the very next day as well. Thankfully, I prioritized hydration the night of and the morning of, so I prevented myself from having a hangover, but that's why we did this experiment because the lack of a hangover is not always the best sign that you can handle your liquor. Cause y'all know y'all quick to be like, I know how to handle my liquor. <laughs> you might think you can handle your liquor, but blood glucose tells a completely different story. Unstable blood glucose is a sign that your body is not regulating energy nearly as efficiently as it could be. That's crazy, huh? For those of us that are pursuing weight loss goals, um, more energy, or even better metabolic health, that can present quite the conundrum. As you might know, Poor metabolic health is at the root of many of the chronic illnesses that are plaguing our society today. From heart disease to diabetes to uh, obesity, all of these things are very much related to dysglycemia, which is unstable blood sugar. Now, although alcohol isn't commonly linked to high blood pressure, strokes, high diabetes, and all that other stuff, dysglycemia certainly is. And if we saw in my experiment that alcohol caused dysglycemia the very next day, then you can say that for someone who drinks frequently, that alcohol could possibly lead to some of those chronic conditions that I just mentioned. 
All right, y'all chill, y'all chill. I'm not trying to come for your Casamigos. If you're drinking one to two drinks every now and then, it's not gonna be a big deal, okay? However, if you already find yourself having some metabolic issues or if you're not as healthy as you know you could be, you might want to take a look at your alcohol consumption to make sure that you're not contributing to that problem. Now, I know we just talked about how bad alcohol can be for our bodies, right? Y'all gonna drink anyway. And I might have a couple drinks every now and then too. Taking that into consideration, here are a few things you could do to soften the blow to your metabolism. Number one, drink lots of water before and after the Casamigos or whatever your alcoholic preference is. Your body is gonna need help filtering all that liquor through your system. Alcohol is gonna keep you hydrated throughout that process. Alcohol is gonna keep you hydrated throughout that process. Alcohol is gonna keep you hydrated throughout that process. Number two, eat before you drink. Now I know you're gonna get your buzz quicker if you drink on an empty stomach, but your gut lining is extremely sensitive. And once you put alcohol on an empty stomach, your gut lining may become inflamed and it's gonna have you sitting on that toilet every 45 minutes the very next day. Last but not least, make sure you replenish your body with some electrolytes the night of and the day after drinking. Alcohol can take a pretty big toll on your body and it can leave you deficient in the vitamins and minerals that you need to be able to think clearly the next day. All right, y'all, that was fun. Tap in the comments and let me know if there's anything else that you guys are eating or drinking on a daily basis that you want me to test out with my metabolism. Last but not least, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about how your daily habits are impacting your metabolism. That's how Casamigos impacted my metabolism. How does it impact yours? Peace out.